LinkedIn. Who doesn't know about it? This social medium has taken off like a rocket in the past few years. So much so that I would venture to say that any entrepreneur or business that doesn't participate on this platform doesn't really count. It's even being hinted at that LinkedIn is the new social CRM. First thing in the morning, before business people even log in to their customer relationship management systems, they're checking out the latest developments on LinkedIn. It's the stagecoach of 100 years ago, but at the speed of light. So, not to have a profile is not at all smart. A poorly maintained profile may be even more disastrous. A profile that serves as a field resume just barely starts to maybe do the trick. But there's so much more you can do. The main thing is that you should use LinkedIn as an interactive domain for you and your potential clients. A good term for this is thought leadership. Share interesting business anecdotes through LinkedIn and you'll see yourself getting followers. Leadership creates followers. The main question in using LinkedIn is, what does it provide? Well, that's easy to answer. If we assume an average network of 250 people per person, that means that the second line of your contact base has as many as 60,000 people. That is gigantic potential. When I'm planning a meeting with a prospect from the second line, I make sure I already know him in advance. Based on his LinkedIn profile, I prepare a few questions. Why did he change jobs in 2008? How did he get to be the president of the association when he was in university? I always print out the profile page and place it within view. This always is a nice icebreaker. Here are some more handy tips for getting the most out of LinkedIn for your business. Make sure you have an authentic profile and a true network. If it's full of pretentious twaddle and boasting snobbism, people will catch on you sooner or later. Become a member of various groups. This will allow you to gain so-called customer intimacy. You get a few steps closer to your client by interactively communicating. From that interaction, you can distill your new client needs and gauge the main development. Finally, give recommendations to people in your network that you've had good business experience with. And make sure that you also get some. But watch out! Recommending each other vice versa is generally seen as a bit incestuous. And as a business person, you don't want to be associated with that. So just use LinkedIn as a social business platform where you, of course, maintain natural contacts. Congratulations on your new potential of 60,000 clients.